Viewers, today latest update from Ethiopia, Tigray and Oromia. Viewers, the Oromia Liberation Front forces Oromo Liberation Army have taken over developed areas that have been taken over by the Oromia Regional Self-Administered Forces and the Federal Forces of Ethiopia. And viewers, at least 26 security officials have been killed on the Amhara Romia border. Local officials of the two regional states have issued conflicting statements about the clashes involving security forces and militias from both neighboring regions of Ethiopia. According to Romia local government officials, a convey of Romia government backed militia and federal police was embushed in Fentral Vorida of the Romia region. The attackers were members of Amhara Regional Forces and Amhara Fano Militia, claimed the Oromia officials. Adisa, a top commander of the Oromia Militia, was killed in the attack. A total of 26 security officials were killed, including two officials of the Federal Police. Fental Varida is situated in the eastern Shiva zone of the Oromia region. It shares a border with the Amhara region. Amhara local government officials uh, have shared a different account of the incident. According to them, the incident happened in Menjar Shankora Varida of the Amhara region. A border with the Romia region, the administrator of the Menjar Shankora Varida, Tedis Bosert, said in a statement. An organized armed group armed with heavy weaponry launched an attack in uh, cable killing and injuring several people. Tedis claims that attackers uh, Tedis claims that attackers were from the Romia region that entered the cable through the neighboring Fentel uh, The slot took place on 29 March. News about civilians belonging to both Amhara and Oromo ethnic groups have been uh, being displaced from Romia Amhara border areas have been coming in four months. If not years, but in recent months, Amhara Fanu militia and Oromo armed groups have stepped up their armed presence in the border areas, which is leading to an increase in ethnic violence. On the other hand, Tigray has at last started receiving food aid. World Food Program Ethiopia has confirmed the entry of the first aid convey in Tigray farmers. 13 trucks have arrived safely into Makale. More trucks and fuel will follow in morning. This is first humanitarian convey to arrive into Tigray region since last December. Good progress, much more needed. We need daily convey following in safely to meet the needs of 5 million people. WFP said in pause uh, an hour ago. It was March 24 when the Ethiopian government declared a humanitarian truce uh, to ensure delivery of air to Tigray. The Tigray government welcomed the announcement, but uh, doubts were being cast over the uh, implementation to the of the truth. Add trucks were to move through the far region where uh, where Tigray forces have been in control of at least five Orida since February this year. Though not officially announced by the, any news source, it seems Tigray and Afar forces have agreed on a humanitarian ceasefire. Tigray Defense Force has not started its withdrawal from the far region so far. But delivery of air to far zone 2, where there is presence of Tigray forces, and uh, uh, the delivery of air uh, to Tigray through a far zone 2 indicates that both Tigray and far forces have agreed to uh, uh, case seize hostilize. So, this is the latest update about it. For more latest report, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.